Hello everyone and welcome to my sister wife's bombshell channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Amid tragedy the brown kids must strive to go on. Before Garrison died away all of them were adapting to a new fractured household dynamic. Sister wives star Pei Don Browns clashed with several Brown family members, including his sister Gwendolyn Brown, and they may have terrible times ahead, their siblings might be in the same situation. The family's dynamic has altered so significantly because three women left Cody, the fractured household was something that made Garrison Brown unhappy before he died away on March 5, 2024. The other brown kids are grieving his departure and also coping with the broken household situation. There's a lot for the brown kids to comprehend, whether they're youngsters, teenagers or adults. Sister Wives Season 18 featured a family in strife. Resentment that had been accumulating for years reaches a catastrophic point. Christine Brown chose to depart and looked to be entirely at peace with her choice. Janelle and Cody Brown were bickering she felt abandoned during the COVID-19 outbreak and concerned about her kids. Mary Brown was growing weary of being the most overlooked wife although she never really shouted at Cody or anything like that. Paydon and Cody are completely different yet once in a while they behave the same manner. Both have egos both are loud and both prefer to strike out rather than recognizing their parts in things. The difference is that Cody's the parent and Payton's the kid, that's a major and very crucial distinction. The parent is meant to soar above. A father is meant to preserve his temper, look at the wider picture and do all that it takes to maintain a link with his kid. When adolescents reach their teens and beyond this might be a hefty order. Paydon and Cody argued and they're temporarily separated. It's definitely time for these two to get together and talk things out, parent-child connections are valuable, but they can be delicate. However for now neither appears to know how to repair what's wrong. Everyone's mourning it's such a difficult moment. Cody and Pei Don may opt to stay quiet, keeping their cold war running. In the past this fight grew very hot. Pei Don complained during an interview with John Yates at YouTube as shown above. In the past Paydon stated his dad wasn't a true man of the home. He also said that Cody didn't get vaccinated against COVID-19. These remarks undoubtedly severely offended his father. As for Paydon he may feel ignored since he's not one of Robin's children. A lot of the brown kids feel that way they've stated so on screen. Now with Garrison gone there is so much grief. Paydon and Cody need to try rather than bashing each other in the press and on screen. It's time to make things better. If they don't try they will live to regret it. These estrangements impact lives for the worse. It's unusual for a parent not to talk to their kid or embrace them or spend time with them. This sort of emotional and physical distancing will affect on the father and son in so many subtle ways. It will affect them both until the rift is mended. If it isn't it's one more thing that both of them will have to deal with. Paydon gets to Cody by putting down Robin. He criticized her propensity to fall into tears in the same interview stating that if her. He believes she acts like she has significant difficulties when she's got it easy. So many of the kids have difficulties with Cody that are associated with Robin. There are a lot of tensions flowing through the Brown family tearing them apart. Robin is in the heart of the storm. Paydon says the kindest things about his mom Christine. He definitely loves her and feels extremely protected and cherished when he's around her. Christine is a natural nurturer. She's the sort of mother that bakes wonderful sweets and keeps the house looking fantastic while also being a fun companion and a terrific shoulder to cry on. According to Paydon as per the John Yates interview Christine has. When one parent is seen as a saint and the other is considered a villain it's not good. What can be done? Honest conversation without animosity will be the greatest method to heal ties. Cody who's frequently viewed as a monster has to put aside his conflicts with his son. What would be most useful would be having some fun together. However right now both are deep in sorrow. 
Later on after a little of healing has transpired it could be feasible for them to improve their relationship. Sister wives Gwendolyn Brown also has troubles she's battled with Paydon and Cody. She isn't exactly delighted with either of them she maintains her distance but Gwendolyn has been pretty scorching about both in the past. She believes Payton's a nasty person yep she's stated as much publicly. She's called him out for racism and more, casting him as a bore who needs to grow up. As for Cody, she feels he squanders his money and at YouTube, Gwendolyn mocks him and Robin. Things are horrible and Gabriel and Savannah Brown have also been impacted by their troubles with their father. However, they don't put him down as often. They're simply sorry because throughout the epidemic, they didn't get to see him. All the kids are processing the loss of a sibling and that's quite distressing. They're also holding anguish based on years of troubles. Polygamy may not be the greatest scenario for families, it's outlawed in many areas and there might be reasonable reasons why it's not allowed. In numerous marriages, women struggle for rank, hoping to court favor with the king, the patriarch. Kids also fight for attention, vying with one other and the women who aren't their moms. A patriarch only has so much time, energy and money to go around. Sister wives' kids have struggled occasionally but also enjoyed happy moments. They've experienced dizzying highs and lows that played out in front of millions of spectators. Now the brown children must go on they have to rebuild. It won't be easy but ideally they can create bridges to Cody. If they do make peace with him it will transform the sister wives' dynamic. While there's been so much tragedy there's always hope. Cody and his kids will need to delve deep seeking for a feeling of forgiveness. That's what's required now. Janelle Brown has been taking tremendous efforts to return to normality. Losing a kid is never easy and she has been doing her best to stay going despite the sadness. Alas, Garrison's loss will certainly linger with her forever. However, the Sister Wives actress has been displaying incredible bravery in moving ahead in life. Janelle always valued her children above anything. Fans are also delighted to see that she was surrounded by loving youngsters who are staying with her at this tough moment. Previously, Janelle traveled to stay with her daughter Madison Brown in North Carolina to spend some valuable time with her grandchildren. It turns out that the reality TV personality flew to Arkansas for a specific purpose. Sister Wives actress Janelle Brown is famous for her cheerful outlook toward life. Fans are delighted that she has been doing the same to her life after suffering through the devastating loss of losing Garrison. Janelle has been spending more family time since the sudden loss of her son. She moved to live with her daughter Maddie for some serenity after the catastrophe. Fans have also been thinking that she has been avoiding staying at Flagstaff since the city carries many memories of her late son. It now comes out that she traveled to Arkansas to spend more time away from Flagstaff. Janelle recently provided his admirers an update on her current trip via an Instagram story. Janelle tweeted a photo of a bespoke t-shirt designed particularly for the solar eclipse on April 8th. Like many others she wanted to observe the solar eclipse in totality. Hence she embarked on a road trip with her son Logan Brown and his wife Michelle. She posted in Dardanelle, Arkansas with at underscore Michelle Petty and Logan to witness the totality. Brown went further and stated that she had a hotel booking for the last 18 months as well. Fans rushed to Reddit to analyze Janelle's recent trip. Several Sister Wives watchers were happy to see her having some wonderful time with her family. Meanwhile others were glad to witness her surrounded by her gorgeous kids. Janelle Brown has been working hard to be optimistic and enjoy her life to the fullest again. Fortunately her kids are helping her back to normality. The Sister Wives actress went on a journey to Arkansas to observe the solar eclipse with Logan and Michelle. She recently uploaded a photo with her son and daughter-in-law on her Instagram story. In it, the three posed with their solar eclipse glasses with a wide grin on their faces. She tweeted, We're officially eclipse chasers after this. Moreover, the TLC star posted numerous photographs and videos of the eclipse later in her tale. Later, she also tweeted a photo of the excellent supper served by Michelle's dad and grandmom. 
Thanks for watching if you like this video so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.